Amaste family, whatever, guess another beautiful day. Let me um let me put a little clip here. This clip I do not own the copyright, so the clip is kept for informational purposes only. I do not own the copyrights. This is something totally different what I'm accustomed to posting, but it might change your perspective of when you think about success. Now this lady is bringing on success for you. And like I said, it will change your perspective of what people saying, oh, I'm successful, I'm very successful. I'm successful in this, I'm successful in that. But um, success, as he's saying it to me, it makes a lot of sense. See, because a lot of stuff here about success, but we never really know what success really means or what really is successful, what you are successful at. But he's telling you exactly how you're supposed to be successful and where successful normally start from. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna drop this clip here. Like I said, it's not it's not a norm what I cast and posting, but it might give you a little perspective of how you can look at success. Folks, I love you guys now. Stuck up on this stuff. Don't wait till you get too late. All right, I'm gonna hit peace up one look. Uh Reverend Kathy, that was great. I want to say if you've read my book, Marriage Bill to Last, I'm very categorical that to consider yourself successful. You've got to be successful, successful fast at home. Successful fast at home. And why I say success at home is that it doesn't matter the kind of family you have, single parent family, uh, you know, blended family, uh, the traditional family. Wherever you call home, that is the first success you will ever have. Pastor Kathy can tell you, that you cannot serve in the church if you, your family is uh, disintegrated. You cannot serve, all right? You need to go resolve and then come and serve. Now, I will tell you this. Success is not about you becoming the chairman of Kepsa. Success is not about you uh, being the CEO of Madison. Success is not about the titles. The titles are just part of a life journey. I've had a title. My last title was the chairman of Kenya Reinsurance Corporation. And doors would open, heads would turn, and now it's finished. Where did I return? Home. I returned home. Now, if I had lorded over everybody in my house, and I'm never coming home because I'm the chairman, I will not be received with love, with honor. So whatever it is that you do, just know your job will come to an end, your titles will come to an end, you will walk back with your tail between your legs to an environment that you neglected. You're from New York to Japan, I don't know where. I've got this international job. You don't even have time for your children. I will tell you the time will come when you need to go back home and you ain't going to have a home to go back to. My measure of success is I've raised some very strong, honorable citizens. And in turn, they have become intentional parents and they are raising some great grandchildren that will be known that there was a generation of a woman that made a difference in her home. I say to you, success is in the mind. What does success mean to you? If I earn a million, I will be successful. Beloved, success is not about silver or gold. Success is about integrity, reputation, impact, and influence. If you are such a person, you are so successful in your generation because you made a difference to somebody's life. Success is not about just getting everything and becoming, you know, the most significant person where driving the best car, living in the best neighborhood, it is nothing of that. Success is about the difference you are able to make in the lives of others.